The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. Welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't really matter where you're at. It could be anywhere in the world. We're we'll trying to uh, sell ice to Eskimos in Alaska. Or maybe uh, having a mint julep in Kentucky. As long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, after trying to blow the bottom out of this market, uh, we're down uh, 18 points on the S&P cash. It, of course, is options expiration. Not only that, it's uh, quad witching. So at uh, 9.35 this morning, after uh, or five minutes after all S&P 500 stocks are open, uh, options on the futures uh, expire. They set the price uh, at that uh, time. But the, all the stocks have to open and be open for five minutes. But I think they all were this morning. So that sets that price. And then we go, of course, and wait till the end of the day, which is all about uh, equity uh, expiration at the close. And so a lot of games going on. Um, I don't spend a lot of time um, yelling about options expiration during quad wedging because it is tougher. Uh, probably never as tough as this week. Uh, just pick a side, uh, wait, wait, uh, what, three hours, and you probably uh, made a mint or gave it back. Uh, but uh, my belief is uh, that kind of volatility is coming to a close. My guess is now that they got everybody to dive in, and I think when I look at the numbers tonight, I'm going to see a ton of people uh, that went short this market just in time for it to uh, level off and maybe even go up a little bit all the way to the first of the year. But uh, certainly, uh, my guess is if you were waiting for the apocalypse to happen in the market, uh, you're going to have to wait until January, sorry to say. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think that the action is about perfect. Normally, what you want to do is see everybody decide to dive in uh, on the hand grenade of going short. And I saw so much this morning that made me believe that. Um, options had uh, been kind of pointing to higher uh, all day, uh, even after uh, the uh, initial move. But, uh, you know, could we get 48 points before the end of the day to get to the prediction? I don't think anything this week is beyond the scope of reason. But uh, for me, uh, I made a play that I think is uh, eh, probably the best bet. And that is uh, all I need is the market not to go higher or go lower. So two out of the three. And I win big on our trade today in the uh, path of least resistance. And, of course, you can always sign up for that uh, on the front page of TFNN. And, of course, we've got Tiger Dollars now. You want to be uh, signing up for those. That's the best way to get any of my newsletters or subscribe to the uh, Art of Timing the Trade charts. Uh, also good things. Uh <laughs> Yeah, just uh, it's uh, kind of like they always told me when I grew up in the Midwest. If you don't like the weather, just wait an hour. I think maybe they even said wait 10 minutes, but I think it was wait an hour, maybe two. Can't remember which one. Uh, but my guess is that we've set the lows and there is probably not going to be much of a low back in. And by the end of the day, uh, the shorts will probably want to be uh, screaming uncle again. Uh, but like I said, uh, you know, as long as we continue to just sit here and melt, I'm fine. In fact, I suspect uh, as we go into the end of the year, the VIX is going to do nothing but melt like ice cream on Georgia asphalt in the middle of July. 
that really melts. You just you have to do that once, just so you know. But anyway, uh, as I said, uh, looks fairly good to me uh, in thinking that we've got a uh, fairly nice uh, setup uh, to uh, end the season out. But everybody probably looking for another home run. I can't even say it. Home run ball, uh, and probably not going to get it. My guess is that we go a deep deep into uh, volatility, negative volatility, or lower volatility, I guess would be the way to say it, through next week. Um, this is just a way that they set these things up. They have huge amounts of money on both sides, above uh, 4700 and below 4700 So, uh, you know, if they push this thing up, if it doesn't get it there today, it's going to get there probably through next week. But, uh I'd be, you know, if I was doing stuff, I'd be selling spreads all through next week and just uh, accumulating the uh, uh, the uh, decomp in uh, premiums uh, or selling uh, short uh, maybe uh, uh, the options uh, for volatility. But, uh, eh, yes, I don't want to I didn't say that right. I would be short volatility, not selling the options short. Anyway, uh, 877-927-6648. And uh, that's it. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Uh, anything else happen? And that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, um, I'd say there's a 95% chance we close positive on the day in the S&P uh, and a fairly good chance that we take a run at 47 before the end of the day. Uh, but even if it just goes sideways, I'm going to I think I'm going to clean up 877-927-6648. Uh, Email me at path at tfnn.com. And of course, you can always put a message in the den if you want to look at something. And uh, what do we have there? Options expiration going into Christmas week. Hey, it is a tough trade to be short next week. Um, and they got a lot of people, I think, on the wrong side of the boat. So the general uh, prognosis is to have a slow and steady move higher. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at uh, a couple of stocks that have people just shorting the daylights out of them. And they may be just flat now, but uh, I think they could do ne be uh, good next week just on the short squeeze. As volume decreases, uh, short interest increases, uh, you've got the, uh, the uh, elements of a, of a decent short squeeze in the next week that isn't all uh, just over in a minute uh, that maybe takes the entire week to develop. Okay, uh, what do we do? Oh, don't have enough time to do that now. We'll do a little history. We'll come back. Got uh, lots of stocks with earnings to take a look at before we finish up yet another great week of the power trading. And uh, I Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Turn as MacArthur did to the Philippines. We're only off 14 points on the S&P cash now. Uh, Dow still down 327, a little bit uh, bigger hurt. Uh, Nasdaq up 73. Uh, Russell's even up uh, uh, 29, up uh, one and three, yeah, 1.3 percent. The big winner, winner chicken dinner of the day, and of course uh, we've got a little history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On today in 1903, Orber and Wilbur Wright make their famous first controlled and sustained flight with a heavier-than-air powered aircraft. Uh, Orville made the first uh, flight, which lasted about uh, 12 seconds. Three more flights were made that day, both by both brothers, by the way, and uh, the most successful being the fourth and final flight in which Wilbur flew for 59 seconds. The work done by the White brothers helped spawn the aviation industry, and of course, um, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> well, that was some wicked sneezing there. Anyway, um, very interesting. Of course, uh, they were bicycle uh, folks back in there and decided to uh, well, have some fun. But uh, eh, on this day in 1903, aviation got started. Uh, they all started with something uh, called the Bernoulli Principle, which we found out much later was untrue. But it didn't really matter. The plane still flew. Hey, I rhymed. Didn't know it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start getting to the charts over most of TFNN, which is already in progress. Uh, okay, I wanted to look at uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. earnings, earnings, and more earnings, and some just with news. Um, caught a lot of people sleeping uh, at the meme store in uh, AMC. Uh, and again, in a downtrend, as I said, you always you need to cover when you can, not when you have to. And uh, this is kind of the rhythm that it takes to uh, ride something all the way to the bottom. 
Uh, generally, people making a lot of money get a little greedy, and they get caught napping. Um, some good news for AMC, but, you know, are they broke? Yes. Are they going to be broke? Yes. Will they be able to use this money to make themselves richer? I mean, the executives, yes. Uh, will it ever make any money from now on to eternity? I'd say the uh, probability is about like Kmart and Sears coming out of bankruptcy. No. But uh, yeah, weirder things have happened. Uh, other things going on in the market already. We'll go through SD uh, Lauder having a bad hair day. How'd you like that one? I came up with that. I came back and filled this gap higher. There wasn't a lot of volume to that gap. But guess what? It's almost a per uh, perfect gap that started on the 26th of November and reoccurred on the 6th of December. That is uh, what you got to call a burning bush for a sign at 345, uh, where support comes in. It came in at 343, and that's it. Um, probably going to have more volume today, too. But uh, sometimes you can just look at a chart, and it just pops out at you. But uh, double gaps, you want to watch those. That's why the art of timing the trade charts uh, identifies them so uniquely, i.e., with uh, – lighter and darker areas depending on whether the gaps up and down but when they mix together ah you got some real stuff there baby uh steel case also out with uh uh t -t 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 with earnings uh down a little bit uh but uh really more than anything just back uh to kind of a long support area this thing's had for a while uh, let's go back up here because I like that. You've got really a big gap uh, above 10 bucks that goes back to what the 9th, 10th, 11th. What is that? Uh, we're going to call that the 9th of. Yeah, 9th of. Is that Mar March? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong place again that because that's the one i'm looking at right there uh yeah the 9th of uh november yeah, november 9th of 2020 gapped up with a million shares if you're unfamiliar with still case they're the guys that make a lot of those file cabinets and desks and chairs and stuff uh when everybody uh decides to to scale down all those uh chairs go home uh and you buy uh the uh, steel case uh, file cabinets at a discount. And then, of course, when you fire back up and order, uh, start a new office, you got to go out and buy new uh, file cabinets again and desks and chairs. Um, these guys were always interesting as a company to me because they had, they were uh, fairly anal about the way that their trucks, uh, their semis looked. And before they made a big delivery, each truck has to go to a car wash well, I guess a truck wash in this case, and clean up before it comes into town and be spotless. Uh, they pay their drivers a little extra to do that. Kind of one of like, uh, it's not like uh, what is it? Uh, no, there are a few other companies like that. Uh, anyway, uh, at support. Uh, but uh, you know what? Eh, not a lot of people jumping at it, but uh, it has a nice range over time. Uh, to, to United States Steel, uh, as always, Michael, we're bigger than U.S. Steel. And, of course, uh, not much movement in this. I don't think you're going to have much movement in these in more industrial-level stocks. Um, uh, the Vaccine Industrial Complex sees a little bounce here in Novavax. Uh, up today, they've actually the last couple of days on decent volume, uh, not kind of quite make the uh, probably 10 million shares from November 29th, but uh, eh, on a bad hair day, gapped up and held it. That can tell you a little bit of something, something. A F R M. Yeah, almost no movement, but again, this is another one. Uh, it's sitting right at these gaps 
Uh, you had a big thrust with volume into it yesterday, but no follow through today. This goes through the gap higher from September 10th with 54 million shares. Uh, you had 10 million shares last time you tried on December 6th. You had 20 million shares yesterday, and it didn't do much. Uh, today, just kind of hanging out there. But uh, at least in the short term, probably found support. Uh, J and J didn't have good news as part of the vaccine industrial complex, but probably not as big a gap down. Uh, this thing's still on the north side, three by three displaced moving average, uh, where it found support. So no blowout yet in J and J, even on that. We'll be back in a. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we come back, uh, one of the bigger winner winner chicken dinner is Bottom Line Technologies, ePay. Nice gap higher to 56.38, uh, only second to AMC, but we know meme stocks really don't count. Uh, huge volume into a 250,000 share high. You already have 8.7 million shares today. So uh, caught a lot of folks sleeping on that one. Uh, okay, what else do we have here? I think. 
Yeah, do I want to go back to the other way? I do. Let's go back to earnings and news. Combination of both. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah. Whirlpool. WHR. See what's going on in that one today. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah. Actually, got a little more energy on the way up yesterday. You're down today. The volume has not come in. But eh, down 2% or so. Uh, Sam's. S-A-M. I am, I am, said Sam. Uh, even a bounce uh, in a downtrend is fairly good for this company. It's done nothing but sell off. But uh, a little higher on very light volume today. But eh, almost 4%. So not a bad move today. Uh, Intel. Uh, yeah, not much happening here. And again, I don't expect a lot of in, out of Intel for a while. It's going to take a, a bit to get the conference uh, confidence back. Uh, when we look at uh, D Facebook uh, or Metamucil, whatever you want to call it these days, uh, it has held above the three by three now for what, seven or eight days out here did not break it uh, volumes about half so i'm thinking uh hey we got in there and hey, we got some other emails coming in so let's go ahead oh we got several out here okay um dave why do you think the dow is down so much today do you think it's many rotation back into tech no, I think it's uh, that Dow stocks have the tendency uh, to borrow lots of money and they don't like interest rates going higher. That's kind of it. Uh, even some of the smaller caps may have options than borrowing lots of cash. Uh, but a lot of the Dow stocks are, are all about uh, big industrial. And uh, that's problematic for those big companies because they have to borrow big money. Interest rates going up doesn't do them any good. But uh, eh, you can, you know, you can, sh if you're smaller, you can issue more shares without getting into problems, too many problems anyway. No one looks that closely. Uh, but that's kind of it. Uh, this could uh, be a bottom or all in the stocks. Uh, last six months, handful of stocks, index up. So many are down more than 20%. Uh, I think we're getting ready for sector rotation. And just a lot of stocks have been outperforming. And uh, we've seen some of that sector rotation already. But I think it really ups its game uh, come uh, the first of next year. Uh, when UPS was private, they were crazy about cleaning their trucks, work rules, leaf steps, uh, inner truck, and even scrubbing the floor of the warehouse. What do you think of Merck? Uh, not much. Uh, -da 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 -da. Uh, love you. Uh, Eh, MRK, right? I don't really look much. Well, you bounced off the bottom with half the volume, so there was a fairly decent buy signal. I just would have liked to have seen it come down with a little less energy. And you got two big gaps. I think generally what you want to see is the third gap out there to set the low. You've got a fairly nice low out here on December 7th a day that will live in infamy. But you don't really, you, you really, you get two big gaps. About 80%, 75% of the time, you're going to get a third big gap. So I would wait for that. And then when everybody's all despondent about it, I think that's the time to jump in on that grenade. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Pete says there's no fear in this market. Look at AMC up 20%, GameStop up 7.5%. And I didn't look at uh, GME, but uh, up 7.5%. Uh, everybody's talking about thin trading, Christmas rally in the year. What do you see? I just think we'll either go sideways or slightly higher. There's going to be individual stocks that uh, outperform over the next week, and they're probably all going to be short covering as we go back.
Uh, let's see if I had looked at anything else. Facebook. Uh, Snap. Uh, XP. Eh. Don't see much in that. Let's see. If we go to here. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go back and look at the usual suspects real quick. Uh, a lot of people are writing off Microsoft. Uh, as far as I can tell, all they're doing is coming back to this gap higher and probably with lighter volume gapped up on the 27th of October with 53 million shares back into it today with 25. So you're not going to blow that out today. Um, you know, do you have to probably go sideways for a couple of days next week? Yeah, but, uh, you know, $20, $30 off the top of this thing. Uh, is not the end of the world, and you really didn't have a lot. You know, you had a couple of days with the market that everybody got bearish. My guess, though, is everybody's shorting everything, and uh, they're going to have to slowly cover next week. Uh, will Apple get back up to its highs? Um, yeah, I think this is another good setup here where you gapped higher on the 7th, a day that will live in infamy, 120 million shares higher. Is that right? 127? Yeah, you got 107 already today, but you didn't break it. We'll see what happens, but I think it flattens out here. Yeah, I think you get one more bite of the apple at 182. Maybe that's where it fails. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay. Oracle, O R C L. Um, yeah, I think this did uh, kind of blow off its top here. Um, you gapped up, came right back down into it. Um, you know, they had really good earnings, but uh, a little over overrun with uh, that. Lots of volume at the high, which suggests. Uh, with about an 80% probability, you're going to retest that high at 106.34. And, of course, it's one of the techs that was the lagger that came on late. But uh, from their earnings report, a lot of people are buying their stuff. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. back uh, uh mimi wants to know about aa alcoa um well you got to think that uh, aluminum is going to be a good business going forward um i think it's better than the steel business and of course everybody kind of move into aluminum make the cars lighter uh some other stuff like that uh not a bad business to be in but Right now, this thing's just in a big trading range from about 43 to 57. So if you're long it, um, I put my hands, uh, I'd sit on my hands and let it ride. But uh, my guess is you're probably going to see some kind of top out at 5757, uh, which is the previous high of October 18th. Uh, to see and see. Centene um, is up. Again, no sign that this thing wants to falter. Um, hasn't broken uh, really any trend line onto the downside or come close. Uh, my guess, though, is a lot of these stocks that have done this are going to go sideways until the first of the year. Um, don't see any reason unless this breaks a nine-day moving average or a three-by-three three to sell it. Wait until we see what happens uh, the first of the year. But uh, yeah, nice move in Centene. Um, but again, yeah, you know, at this point, you're hoping for a good beginning to next year. Um, I'm suspecting a lot of stocks that don't have high short interest are probably just going to go sideways next week. Okay. Got that one. Uh, to NFLX, go back to the usual suspects. Uh, this is back down to the support level uh, where it gapped back up on September 22nd. It did so on 4 million shares. Came down and got into that candle today with 2 million shares so far. So let's say we get 2.5 or 2.75 million shares. Going to be a fairly decent test of the low. But uh, we've been talking about this. Um, tough stuff uh, going forward, and that is uh, people moving around from different streaming services. Uh, and uh, secondly, uh, second, the can't even say it. Secondly, uh, the cost of production for a lot of their uh, products are going up, and that's hurting them also. So they're out of a growth story. I don't see them falling below 580 here in the next uh, couple of weeks, but I don't think that they're. Uh, due for 700 anytime soon uh, going back up to the highs um, but uh, that's just me things are the winds are at least at the moment against them uh, oh I got a song going through my head it just will not quit um, Okay. Okay. We 
got that one. Uh, oh, yes, I did see the uh, article on the alpacas. Um, I used to make fun on the show over the years uh, because uh, back in the 90s, uh, there was a uh, ad that would run after midnight about alpaca, the huggable investments. And, of course, there was a change what, last year, a year before, uh, to the tax codes. Now, uh, I think it's called the Small Family Agriculture Deal or something. But, uh, yeah, uh, alpacas are the biggest tax dodge in the world again. As I said, the huggable investment. But, yeah, I saw that. Uh, to What else do we have here? Okay, so we looked at that one. We looked at a few others. Let's go back here. Um, question about work day from Sam. I am. Uh, yeah. You know, these a lot of these are just coming back to this their support levels. Uh, you have a nice day uh, today. Uh, work day could drift back to 260. It uh, wouldn't be the end of the world either, but uh, I, eh, my guess is between now and the beginning of the year, this thing is probably found a low starting on Monday morning. Uh, we looked at Oracle. Uh, question about Lennar. How about housing with higher interest rates? Um, certainly problematic, but guess what? Uh, if you're in the builder business, all those houses that got mowed down last week uh, are uh, at least uh, some, at some level going to have to be rebuilt. And if they can't build new houses, they'll build uh, uh, in existing lots and rebuild houses. So I wouldn't get too excited about uh, the demise of these companies. They'll be building houses somewhere, uh, whether it's to new uh, owners or just rebuilding uh, the huge swath that got demolished. Um, and, of course, uh, the problem uh, that we had that we talked about over the last week is uh, insurance companies having to sell. Um, when we talked about the Dow earlier, guess what insurance companies buy? They don't buy Apple for the most part, small positions. They don't buy Microsoft. They buy old stodgy companies that uh, if you heard that, that uh, uh, Warren Buffett had bought it, like a candy company or some other weird thing that just plods along that makes 5% a year. That's the kind of companies that insurance companies buy in the market. Maybe one of the reasons why you see the Dow and some of those other kind of companies selling a little bit, because guess what? That is the uh, target audience for selling uh, of uh, big insurance companies. Uh, they want uh, lower volatility and long-term gain. As they invest your uh, your uh, premiums uh, and uh, hope to make all the money. In fact, really, insurance companies are nothing more than other people's money. They you, you give them money, they promise probably won't pay you back someday if you have a loss. Uh, in the meantime, they're going to make sure and invest that money and try to make as much money as they can. Uh, MU on Monday. I like MU. Um, I haven't watched it the last couple of days. Uh, the thing really looked to me like it could take off. You didn't get much of a retrace today. But uh, business does not get any better for the ball bearing company of the semiconductors. You got to have memory. You got to have it for everything. Doesn't matter what it is. They're the memory company. Um, Intel does well with memory. Uh, they're the second biggest memory manufacturer. Most people do not know that because uh, they're kind of quiet about it. But uh, Micron is the big daddy when it comes to uh, high margin uh, memory. Uh, but uh, Samsung's kind of up there, too. They're just not really tradable. So I love this. Um, I don't have any problem holding it. I would have a lot of problems holding it. Some companies... Uh, it's a risk, but I kind of like uh, Micron uh, uh, and holding. We'll be back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. No, it's uh, the Friends of uh, Mr. Cairo by John Anderson and Vangelis. Uh, a little known song, but I think it's a masterpiece. It runs like 20 minutes. Uh, 877, no, we can't do that now. You're, you're no way you're going to make it. Uh, we only have two minutes left. And, of course, uh, we'll take a quick look at the indexes uh, off 25. Eh, is that right? Eh, a little bit more. Off 28. Uh, as we come into the close, I thought maybe we'd have a little bit more gusto to the upside. But, uh, hey. Uh, do, 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 what else do we want to look at here before the end of the day? We looked at MU. Uh, question uh, from... Uh, James, who asks uh, why do I think uh, MU does well, and that is uh, all the stuff that I read uh, about uh, from uh, what is it? Uh, uh oh, from uh, Taiwan, all the semiconductor stuff. Um, they're all doing well. Taiwan Semi, uh, all those guys uh, reporting good numbers. Now, in the Taiwan, uh, in the Taiwanese co corporate market. They have to report every month. So you get a fairly decent read on uh, what kind of business they're doing. 
He had kind of a slam down yesterday in uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, but it, literally this thing's just going sideways. Uh, back to the 8th of, of November. So you've got a whole month of just going sideways. Uh, numbers are good. Um, I guess the big risk, why I don't mind taking it on Monday, is that you always have the looming uh, Chinese takeover of Taiwan. But, uh, not going to happen during the full moon. Well, it wraps up another week. See you here Monday, same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell or cover when you can, not when you have to.